Did you have a bad dream? Oh, it's just a dream, sweetie. It's your mind telling you lies. But it was scary. Oh. Next time you have a bad dream, think of good things. Think of things you love. Jesus. There you go. Talk to him. Today's going to be a good day for flying, I think. Nice and windy. I think this plane's going to catch some wind. It will. So, Kirk, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a pilot. When a dream is born, there is no fear, only wonder and amazement. You feel as though you have the whole world at your fingertips. It's do or die. It's achieve the impossible or nothing. But hey, why am I rambling? You have your dreams. You know what I'm feeling. I just got accepted into Flight Safety Academy. Oh! Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I knew you could do this. Oh, oh, I can't believe this finally happened. I have worked and dreamt so long for this. You deserve this, Kirk. You've worked so hard. Thanks, Mom. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I got to tell Dad. Where's Dad? He'll be home at 6. Okay, I'm going to go call. Yeah. Dad, guess what? I have just got accepted into Flight Safety Academy. Dreams, goals in life, they give you a sense of freedom, energy, and power. Oh, thanks, you'll be home at six? All right, I'll show you later then. Bye. So how'd that session with the pilot go the other day? <laughs> that was actually super fun. It was a little scary. We had a little glitch, but it was super fun. Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> Anyway, so you like this. Okay, so Dan, he was over there and we were uh, flying and uh, he's messing with his headphones. At the time, I didn't realize this, but he didn't have any of his headphones on. And, uh, the very excitement of doing, becoming, drives us towards impossible. It motivates us to test our bounds. And he's not saying anything. Finally, I'm looking over out there and he comes back and he grabs the wheel and just throws it in and we like shoot off in the air. And so, uh, and I mean, we missed the trees by like that much. No <laughs> Maybe you should look for something that you can handle. <laughs> well, right? well, you gotta give him kudos though. I mean, like after seeing Captain. So have you started the assignment for Miss Jan's class tomorrow? Seriously, man, you guys are gonna be cool. I don't. Yeah. All of you are cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'm
somewhere down the line, our wonder turns to fear, our amazement to worry. All that seemed at our fingertips drifts away till we are left with nothing but a thought of a fantasy, of something we were ignorant enough to believe was possible. Hey! How's it going? Oh, pretty good. I'm just doing some research. Your mom told me about the second scholarship letter. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it's all for the best. Maybe it's... Maybe I should, just like Justin said, look for something I can handle. You are Justin's son. Listen to yourself, this isn't you. That's just it, Dad. I have, I have been listening to myself. I don't, I don't know if I could do this. You know that's not true. You, you know what's happening to you right now, don't you? Yeah, yeah, Dad. I'm, I'm man enough to realize that, the, that this dream I had is, is may, maybe just that. No, no. You're lying to yourself, Kirk. You're being controlled by fear, rather than your love for flying. Fear... Fear is a lie. It's irrational thoughts that cross our minds based on things that might happen. Okay, okay, Dad, but... But what if I... <laughs> Thank you. That's my point exactly. What if? Okay, so, um... What are you telling me to do? It's really a choice. To go out and live a lie? Or we'll prove the opposite. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I guess it's just harder than I, I thought it'd be. Don't you want to run with your dreams? To live free again? Just last week you were telling your friends how excited you were about getting accepted. Focus on your love for flying. But if you focus on the lie that you're living in right now, it will paralyze you, and every hope, every dream that you have, will die inside of you. <laughs> wow. You know, maybe we, <laughs> we should have had this conversation in a church or something. I'm sorry, that, that might have been a little bit overboard. No, 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 no. It's good. I needed this. Oh, uh, hey, Dad. Yeah. Um, you must have done something to uh, deal with fear besides listen to a good speech. Read a lot of this book. All right, son.
Yes, today it will be. Okay, now smile nice for mom. Come on, now mom photo. Thank you. Okay, but one more, one more over a little bit. Oh, thank right. you. Perfect. We got it. All right, let's do this. Oh, now you be careful, okay? Come on, this is not the first time I've flown. I know, but not by yourself. Mom, just do yourself a favor and never fly in a commercial plane when I'm the pilot someday. No. All right, all right, all right. Aww. I think what your mother is trying to say is that we love you and we're proud of you. Thanks, are man. you sure you can see with those goggles? Yeah, Dad, I need the whole experience. Let's do this. Whatever you say, son. Get up there and enjoy the ride. That's right. All right. Bye, Mom. All right. Bye. Oh. Do you really think he's ready? Yeah, of course he is. Though I wonder where he gets a sense of style from. Is that your side of the family? Really? You gave him the hat and goggles. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Flying might seem like a small achievement. For me, it's more about the journey to reach a dream. Anybody can dream. Only the strong keep their focus, never back down, and never give up love for fear.